Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so I wanted to make this video real quick. Just thought about it. I have this really easy yard to do. Front and back, the backyard's hardly any mowing. It takes about six minutes to do the back with the HR216. And it's really makes it's really easy stuff. <sighs> A customer, the customer got something that is so pointless and such a nuisance to me it's such this used to be one of the easiest yards down the front yard along the driveway it goes up to the front door they decided to put in these in-ground LED lights uh -huh. and you want to know something not all those lights went all the way in the ground you get where I'm going with this. You have to weed eat around each and every one of them. Because, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but you want it to look nice. And it's like, this used to be one of the easiest things to do. And the way they put them in, they put them up all the way up to the edge where you put where you edge with the weed eater. You know, the edge. So, yeah, that was my luck there. I've got a tough property to do next door, and they just got stuff everywhere, so it's kind of not fun, but oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. Somebody put in, I mean, they put in these in-ground lights. Used to be one of the easiest things to edge, straight edge. I had that edge looking so nice all the time. And they put in these, if you want to look up, if you don't know what they are, but it's just an in-ground LED light. And they didn't have some of them all the way in the ground. They were kind of sticking up. So I kind of pushed on one, and it didn't, it made a cracking sound. Nothing broke, but it was just like, okay, I'm not going to mess with them. But it's kind of like, man, now i got to do more weed eating. i got to worry about if I break one. Yes, they're cheap. You can get them on Amazon, but it's like, really? Anyway, it's not a big deal. It's not too ter It's not really a bad thing, but it's just kind of like, man, <laughs> a really easy yard just turned into me having to spend about 10 extra minutes weeding around these little lights they put out. Oh, goodness, they put out about 10. So you get the point. They're all around. There's some in the backyard and front yard. And yeah, it's... <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather somebody get, if they're going to get a light, is get one of those that you can pull out of the ground. You know, one of those regular landscape lights. Those are better. But these, they're a little tough to pull out of the ground because you put them in the ground and it's kind of like you got to kind of wiggle them, I think. And it, it, they're kind of permanent, but. I don't want to have to go out and pull up 10 of them every time, so I just got to be careful. And I realized this when I made my first pass around the yard, and I realized, what are those things? And I better believe it, there was those in the ground. I'm glad I didn't hit, hit them with my mower blade. That would have been bad. That would have been bad. There would have been little glass pieces and pieces of it everywhere. That would have been terrible if I didn't realize it. <sighs> so... Anyways, guys, you know, you go through this with properties and all that, but you just got to keep going. Um, if it, you know, if things get to be inefficient or you think, you don't think you want to do the property anymore, that's your decision, but I got to, I want to keep going on this one because I do like it, but it's just kind of a nuisance when customers put in these lights in the middle of the yard. It's just like, that's not necessary. But anyways, guys. We'll see you guys there. Anyways, bye.